You give me a second though, I have to do some off uh, screen stuff before I boot up, up the room three. And I'll be playing that for maybe like three hours or something, however long it takes. So let me do this. Um, I'm going to change the title as well. Um, give me a second. Where the hell is the room three? The room three, the room three. It's under R. Game, the room three. All right, and I'll title it the room three end game i don't know what to expect except there's going to be some alternate endings let me see this is rendering i guess i could boot it up in the meantime would i recommend my room 2 youtube series yeah they made for nice youtube videos both the room and the room 2 were nice although i think the room 2 ended up being a little better just due to um me allowing hints it was nice I'm waiting, actually, no, working now. Let's play the room three. Uh, we are in the part where you change your fate. So I've experienced one of four endings. Only by using the mysterious artifacts hidden within Grey Home can you alter your destiny. From this point on, there are no more hints available. The tasks remaining are yours to finish alone. Red series, thank you for the four months. What? What is all right? So what is going on? No room game has ever done this before, but I got the imprisoned ending, which is I guess everyone's first ending. Oh boy. What to expect? So we respawn in the main big room. So this is where the exit was, and I still have some stuff on me. I have the craftsman's key, which is all very nice. I have a screwdriver. I have a small mechanism. I have a blank wax cylinder. So I have to do tasks. I assume in the overworld involving these. So I remember with this, I wanted to, I got it from a phonograph, so I wanted to use it to play music. So what I needed to do was power a different phonograph. I think that was in this room, so I could insert this and then bring it back. Let me verify that I have this right. So I wanted to power this thing right here. Can't see a way to operate it. Either that or like... I don't even need power, I just need some sort of um, crank. A crank would be nice. But yeah, I have this key, it's got a plus on it. Titan Jagger, thank you for the tier one. Appreciate it. Um, then there's a 1795. This doesn't seem to be working. So we have some spooky stuff here. I'll have to remember 1795 if a four number code ever comes up. But I don't believe it has. Then there's this thing. This is some spooky shit right here. See, she seems familiar somehow. She's dealing the cards, so maybe she'll deal my endings. If I can place in a token, that might help, but I have no token. Um. So again, I need to find different stuff to do. I've explored this overworld area, I thought pretty thoroughly, but maybe not. All I hope, and here's what I hope, alright? I hope that I don't have to, like, go back in to the individual levels and do something in there to impact the overworld. Because, to be honest, that seems like ooh, there's just way too many options to brute force. I I'm hoping I don't have to do that because it also doesn't make sense knowing that items don't stay in between the worlds. You know, when you go from the overworld into the other worlds, they, they don't. So I'm hoping hey, I don't Tyler, have to do anything. Are you going to play the room old sins as well? Is that, is that the fourth game? People are saying it's VR, and I don't have a VR headset. Or if that's a different room game, I might be mistaken. But honestly, I mean, I'd be, I'd be down to play more room games on stream. I've enjoyed all of them. For real. Old Sins is mobile exclusive? Oh, that's even worse. As a concept, it's not worse. It's just worse for me being able to stream. Because I would have to get my iPad and capture card working again in order to do that. Which is... I, I just don't think I can. Uh, let's check out the, these various rooms. 
Let's see if there's objects we can still access here. We have used the screwdriver already, so I feel like it's not that. But I'm looking for something for this for this key slash mechanism to go. Keep saying mechanism, but it's so clearly a key, isn't it? Oh yeah, also, new video out. If you guys are a fan of the YouTube channel and haven't been up to date with all my streams. Uh, uploaded a video right now to my YouTube channel. It's about 17 minutes. You guys can go check it out and be right back in 17 minutes. I won't be too upset or anything if you do do that. And I'll see you guys in a bit. So, one thing I have been able to interact with has been this thing here. Um, I was able to, like, change the ball, or the cube into a ball, so I could unlock the area where I got this blank wax cylinder. But that's it. I think that's all I was able to do. Something seems to be missing from these sockets, like this. Like a mechanism. No? Like a screwdriver. So it's not this mechanism, you're telling me? This small mechanism? Maybe there's like something else I have to do with it? I can't drag it around or anything, it's already actually opened up. Hmm. But yeah, clearly we need to find something into the- put something in the socket so I can start rotating this. Um, the only issue is I haven't found anything. Fine, fine, fine. That's true, I haven't re I mean, I have manipulated the key, actually. This thing has already moved. You see the little gray track here? Uh, at the beginning when I got this key, the gray thing moved along this track. So it feels like all the key manipulating I've done has is like everything I could have done with the key. This is something I haven't seen before. There's something embedded in this tree. Yeah, no shit. Uh, you want uh, to let me open it? It's a, it's a drawer. It is really strange that I can't access this. This. Hmm, very odd. That only zooms into there. Uh, well, I'll come back to that another time. Seems I can't do anything with it now. What about over here? I haven't been to this area yet. Oh, um, hey, does anyone remember? Oh, this latch is lacking the dial. So I need to find a dial. Well, there was like 1795, so I thought I'd do that. I need a dial, pretty much. And then what about this thing? Does this work? I wonder what's on that record. But yeah, I can't operate this without the dial. So once I get the dial, I can put it on here and then uh, punch in 1795. But I don't. Uh, so I have to keep exploring area, other, other um, overworld areas for things to do. I feel like that's going to be my biggest thing, but again, I don't have access to a dial. And I tried everything else I have to. None of these are secretly dials. Excuse me. Seems like quite the horror game. It does get definitely spooky. But it's not over the top. It's definitely meant to be more of a puzzle than a horror game. Like, look at this. This is some creepy shit. So I'm not going to go in there until I've actually done other stuff in the overworld. Because I think that will help confirm some of my solutions. What about this? Have I done this? No, this is where I began. This is where I spawned in. Because I remember on the side of these were like three riddles. Yep. Now I'm wondering if there's like anything else to do on this that aren't, isn't riddles? Seems like no. I've see, read this already. Is there anything else I could do? What about this? Am I supposed to maybe open this gate somehow? I would need... I don't know what I would need to, in order to be able to do that. And no hints either. Meaning that I'm really on my own. Like, I need to find a lot of stuff that I haven't seen yet. I'm sure I'll find something eventually, chat. I mean, it's just part of it. It's definitely a lot slower than the main game due to the fact that I just don't have hints to tell me, hey, you should, like, try this area. But I'm sure I'll get there eventually. Yeah, I've had... Chat if I'm desperate. 
But I feel like I'll be less satisfied with myself if I go to chat for hints. I would like to be satisfied with myself, ideally. Oh yeah, here's the time. It's casually 11.06 at night. There's a little latch on the underside here. See this? This section of the uh, clock is different from the rest. So like you should be able to maybe open it up somehow. Or like if I could get a dial from here, that'd be cool. But alas, what about anything at this table? Wasn't, wait, here's a key. Keyhole, right? Something to do? Let's go, finally something to do. Let's do this. Making progress. Shit. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. Well, uh, does this open now? Now it's locked. What about over here? Need some sort of circle to open it? Like, I thought there'd be like a secret drawer, but there wasn't. Like, you can look on the inside and I click around. And I thought like maybe opening this would change things. What about closing it and opening it repeatedly? To summon the ghosts. Well, we can move in on this thing. I wonder if opening the drawer somehow allows us to like manipulate something else here. Unfortunately, no. None of this is workable. All right, it's simple. I detached the drawer entirely. No, it's not showing up. It's not letting up, can't interact with that. Okay, that's not what I want to do. Imagine the craftsman just watch this guy open and close the drawer. Well, I feel like anyone who gets put into this trial is going to be driven insane in some way or another. My way of expressing it is just simply by slamming drawers. Actually, here's something I want to find out. Am I even able to turn this on if I wanted to? No, I'm not. Yeah, so I am stuck in the overworld. That's good to know because it means I don't have to overthink things. But I still have the screwdriver, which means there's got to be something. It is a flathead screwdriver, which is worth keeping in mind. So I would have to specifically look for flathead holes. Um, but, I mean, there aren't any here. There aren't any elsewhere. Maybe there's something else I can zoom in on. Like one of these pictures has something hiding behind it, perhaps. Like this bell slash plaque or something in the corner is awfully suspicious. Jump out the window. You know, it's a shame the game just doesn't let you kill yourself. That would really improve the experience. And I've already been in here. Well, but I haven't been in the upstairs area. Well, I mean, I have, but I mean, I haven't been in a bit in this area. Like, maybe there's something in the elevator that I can manipulate that I haven't tried yet. Monocle on. Scouting out the elevator. It seems like all you can do is actual elevator things. So I might as well mess with this. And unlock the upstairs area. Maybe there's something around here. We still haven't unlocked this safe. Sir Wee Woo, thank you for the prime sub. Um, but this is like jammed. We need a crowbar or something or like a laser beam for this. A simple screwdriver isn't going to help us out at all. And then there is this, whatever it is. A track running all across the banister. So we need... Well, something to go on the track. And that will activate magic. I can't really zoom in on any of these. Are these detachable now? Like, we use the screwdriver for this section here. No, it seems like that what uh, this area is kind of done with. There's the other section of this room still. Which is back here. But there really isn't much back here. Damn. 
What about this lower section? Maybe one of these drawers is operable? No, it seems like the only purpose of this machine is, again, plus to minus minus to plus. Can we maybe screw this off? Screwdriver, please? Damn, uh, I have not found anything else to interact with. I really thought that key would do something. I can't believe it had an empty drawer. It doesn't make any sense, though. Like, I would have expected maybe opening the drawer to have changed something, anything. But it didn't. There was no hidden drawer. There was no, at least effect that had uh, resulted from all this the only thing that could happen is I guess I mean I just wasn't looking hard enough at all this subtle stuff like there is something I must not have interacted with because it's not even like there's some cryptic shit I could do I'll leave the drawer open. I mean, I could do that, right? I actually forget whether I did or not. I honestly have no remembrance. And then 1795. We know where that goes, but we don't have power for it. Like, maybe if I leave the drawer open, there'll be some chain event at some point in the map that's slightly different. And then I'll have to research the map. No, the drawer's been open. Good. What about this fire? Can I interact with that? It's a big object. A lot of things to click on. What about this table here? I mean, this is where we put the null elements on. What if I put the key back in here? Hmm, I don't know. There's also just a shit ton of different endings. I'm, I kind of want to just go into here. Again, but I feel like I might be wasting my time. Because I haven't really done anything. Like, what if there's the drawer ending? <laughs> that all that matters is that you've opened the drawer, and then it summons a different ending. I don't want to spend the time on that. I don't think that's worth my time. What about up here? Like I'm trying some really subtle stuff now. Like every chain, every object, every candle. It's crazy you can zoom into this. Can't use this on it, but I was hoping like I could find a wrench maybe to twist this and open the gate. But I cannot. But yeah, I, I don't have a wrench thing. Look for the window for 15 seconds ending. I'm going back to this area because the drawer has been opened. A very significant part. Oh, please have this matter somehow. Yes! Something to do! Let's go! Oh, and we're inside the tree. That's where we are. Straight up. I'm going to line this up. See if that somehow matters. I don't know if it matters. I don't know what matters and what doesn't. But what I, I remember there, were, you know, this was the part of the tree, but they're all attached now. Is there more to this? Is there anything like on the back side? No. It's like lighter in here. Let's see what's on the other side. Is this open now? No, it doesn't. Screwdriver. We spoke. <sighs> we can't even interact with it. It doesn't even give us a pop up anymore. No. Can't pull the drawer. Can't interact with this. I mean, I saw there was like a square platform thing, but I didn't think I could put anything on that. Let me see if I missed anything in this room. Is 
It seems like I need some sort of car or just special key in here, right? Neither of which I have. The key I used definitely wasn't going to fit this, at least. Uh-huh. The key is very different in scope. This game keeps giving me hope and crushing my dreams. It does! I can't interact with that over there. Like, I can't put the null shape on it. Can't put anything, anything else there. Looking around the room, can't really do anything. I mean, it lets us understand where we are. But yeah, we don't have that key. Alright, but at least we have another thing we can maybe interact with. I think all of my progress is just hidden behind me missing one thing. But now I feel like I gotta look at all the walls, because that was a dislodged brick, brick which led to that. So maybe there's another secret passageway. Something I can grab. Can I grab the brick? Maybe break some glass? No, I don't think I wasted the key. There actually isn't any more hints uh, in this. I think I probably would have. Um, if given the chance. At this point. Because I've done a lot of searching. I probably would. But unfortunately, I can't. What about... My tongue might work as a key. Oh, you'd like the imagery of that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I still don't have the dial. Sorry, wait, that latch is locking the dial in place. Wait, I misread that. Oh, it doesn't matter. Why does the screwdriver not work on these? They're flatheads. Yeah, actually, these are flatheads. Why on earth would uh, my screwdriver not be effective here? I totally misread that. The latch is locking the dial in place. Not we need a dial or we need a indicator or something. There's got to be some way I can mess with this then. Because all I need to do is get rid of that latch. Screwdriver too big. Isn't the latch lower? Oh, you're saying this might be the latch? I don't, I don't know how these things work. So this is the latch and this is the indicator. I guess that makes more sense. So I need some way to be able to pull it out. Now with the screwdriver. Wish I could see it more closely. You can't turn it into a uh, Phillips screwdriver, unfortunately. Seems like I need a magnet or something. A magnet or... Some way to power it. I too wonder what's on this record. Is there a hammer in this game? Yeah, the ability to destroy things would be very helpful. But I feel like, you know, in a world surrounded by magic, if you try to break anything, the magic spirits are going to get you. Your mortal hammer aren't going to matter against the powers of Cthulhu. Or you're just not that strong. I mean, either way. I'm just trying to see if there's anything on this I can interact with still. I mean, we can still zoom in on these things. Which might kind of matter. But it also may not matter. Really a 50-50. I could go back to the drawer. I mean, yeah, the drawer is one of the only things I did. It just doesn't make any sense that it's an empty drawer. The drawer has to do something. I have never seen an actual red herring in this game. Ever. Or if it does nothing, the game would, like, put a text prompt. 
There was nothing inside the drawer. Maybe there's something on the side of the drawer? Well, we've done something. <laughs> Actually done something. We don't know what we've done because nothing showed up. But now it is our duty to find whatever the hell that thing did. That reminds... Oh, does this remind me of anything? The way that slid. Honestly, no. But you heard a noise. You all heard the noise. Definitely something happened. Maybe something got powered. Oh, was there something in the drawer? Uh, that's... I'm okay with looking at that. Let's see. Uh, so the phone, or whatever this thing is called, this thing opened. No, this was already open. Did something appear in the drawer? It did. It's a handle! Let me look at the handle space. It's a square base of a handle. Um... Well, also attached to the square is a circle, so maybe there's a world in which, yeah. That opens. To find... A note! July 30th, Maggie Cox was a charlatan, and there is no such thing as a spirit medium. Yeah, it's spirit extra large here. Everything she believed was a lie. I know this for a fact. I concocted the lies. How is it then that she alone can resist me? If she will not rest in the prison I've built her, I shall build one deeper still. Alright, so there's nothing on the side here. What about the other side? Nothing on the other side. Wait. Wait. So what the hell? This note has a key on it. I think I could still use some keys, but I can't grab it. Alright, uh, so I found more lore. Now I have two drawers I can slam. Oh, there is a thing here. Let's go. Now I can solve this puzzle. It's all coming together! Finally! So I can rotate this to here. And then rotate this now? No, I cannot. I could rotate to have this be visible. Slide. Another drawer opens. Uh, another note I'll read first. Now we're moving. July 23rd, the house is turning in on itself, warped by the null. I find myself forever traveling in circles down corridors that turn back on themselves. I use the doorway machines to bypass the maze, but the crystals run low on energy. I must find a new power source soon or be forever trapped. So we're trying to escape the maze slash prison. That was detailed in a previous part of this game. And now I can fully rotate this, and then rotate this, and then rotate this middle section? No, open it. To find a token! A token with a square middle. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna have to recheck some stuff. Um, I know, I think if I'd played... If I'd paid closer attention, I could have remembered a square middle. Um, I'll have to check though. I wasn't paying that close attention, but I know that can do something. Oh, wait, that goes, uh, how about, let's try the, uh, the, the machine, the fortune teller. We could just deposit a token there. That, uh, is the first thing that comes to mind. There could be some other option or thing we could do with it. But let's start with this. The Great Khan. Token. These things are so spooky. They just definitely intentionally made them as creepy as possible. Just to mess with you. Make up your mind! Pick a card! Imprisoned. Yep, that's my progress. I do know that. So is it based off the amount of endings I find? 
allows me to get different objects. A crank wheel. What the hell is this thing? A crank wheel, actually, to open that door. He deceives you. Cool. All right, that, to open that door near the beginning. It was... Which way was it? I think it was this way. Right there. So we're going to need to return to her uh, probably frequently. Because we'll probably get different objects based off the amount of endings we've gotten. But we have unlocked an entire new room. So I imagine there will be plenty of puzzles in here. Mm, no, it's actually way smaller than I thought. I respect it though. Where to start? How about uh, over here? Drawers. I love opening drawers. All right, we got nothing. We have a big X to show that there's nothing in these drawers. A note. July 27th. That interfering friend of AS continues to ask questions and I should like to ask a few of my own. How did they overcome the null? How much energy resides in that brilliant soul of theirs? It would take the last dregs of the energy I've started to bring them here, but they might, or I have stored to bring them here, but they might also be the key. I have no choice but to take the risk. All right, usually when there's a drawer with a note on it, there's like something, you know, attached to a drawer that I can interact with, but it seems like no. Do any of these drawers have like something on the side of them at all? Well, I actually will not be able to see the sides of all of them except for the middle ones. So it seems like that drawer is just helpful for the middle. Or for the note. Just going around the room clockwise. Seeing what I can and can't interact with. How about over here? Really? This isn't interactable. How about this? 17. Can we add to 17? Oh boy. I do like some math. Uh, so 5 and 4 and 8. And then we put it back in. All right. Okay. We'll put that there, I think. I do with the spirit's command. Oh, we're multiplying now, not just adding. Oh, boy. Uh, 31. 8 times 3 plus 7. Eight times three plus seven. Did I misread something? Eight times three is 24, plus seven is 31. Huh? Bottom to top? I thought the, oh, so the arrows mean it's bottom to top, and it doesn't mean that. Okay, here's what I was thinking. The arrows mean you're... That, what I thought what the arrows meant was that you're just supposed to slide it in afterwards. You're supposed to read bottom to top? Yuck. I, I'm kind of glad you guys said that. That is... Yeah, I had a totally different interpretation of those arrows. Um, so let's see. 7 times 4 plus 3. Yeah, who the fuck does bottom the top? Absolute heathens. Oh, that is a long way up. We go to 30, huh? Um, let's just start maybe... Let's do 2 times 5. How about that? We start with 10. And we, now we want... Um, you know what? Let's, let's do uh, 17. Let's do 29. Probably a mistake. That doesn't seem to work out. Wait, hold on. 29? This is 20. That doesn't get there either. Most I can get is plus 4 from the top. Most I can get is plus 4. What about this? How, hold on. 10. And then 16. 
So plus four. No, sorry, 26 plus four. Yeah, 10, 14, 26, 21, 30. That should be it. Well, this is probably the end of this room. Maybe not. Library. So is that telling me I should just go to the library? Can I interact with this further? All right, well, something has happened in the library is what I've gathered. Let me just make sure there's nothing else I can do in here before I move on to the library, of course. Pack it up, boys. Math has been defeated. The true order of operations doer has arrived. All right, but library, I think it's... I, I can't recognize them that well from the sides. This isn't the library. It's the other one. This is the library. Maybe one of the things has been powered on. I can hear a ringing so clearly. Oh, would you look at that? And this is on. Oh, hell yeah. We're going to get some music now. Let's go. Put in, slide this thing open. Load it up. There's a key first. A cross-shaped key. Uh, can I just put this in first? Hmm. For some reason, I thought I could, like, manipulate it somehow. Maybe now? Oh, now you don't- you stop working? What is this? Corn plays! Thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. I, I put the thing in the thing, and I would like it back. Thank you very much. I'm not getting it back, am I? <laughs> um, plus key. I need to rejog my memory. Is the cross shape key? It's also got a crank on it. Uh, I'm sure this will go on eventually. Um, I, I I was wondering if it was upstairs. I don't want to go up there just yet, or not just upstairs. The up upper floor. It couldn't have been up there, could it have? Maybe a drawer. Fuck, my memory is... I'm just... I have so many things I want to keep track of. And the tier 2 to boot. Thank you very much. That is wet. Got the three room games. Absolutely love them. Thanks for putting us on to them. Hell yeah. Glad you've been enjoying. They're good games. No, this just doesn't open. I probably should try to go upstairs. I think I was looking for a plus. I mean, this this stuff is probably done for. Only other options in this room. Maybe I'll do this first. It's definitely not the tree door. I know that for a fact. Because it's uh, more of a credit card with a circle in the middle. Was it this? No, this was different. I assume this won't work. If I try... And I don't think, well, maybe there's some world in which this somehow helps. It is, it, it does say it's a key. It's also got a circle on the bottom. I don't think that matters. It's a key and not like some sort of leverage mechanism. Latch is gone. No, it's still there. 
game has changed your definition of a key? True. I just want to make sure there's no plus key here. I mean, I haven't spent that much time in this room, so if there was, like, something... Oh, yeah! Yep, 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 yep. I saw it as an X, not a plus. Let's go. Yeah, this would be the good room to return to, because I spent the least amount of time in here. Memory game. Simon says... <gasps> Look at that! Another token! Well, the tokens doesn't matter because I already got one of the end, one of the uh, endings. So I don't think putting a token back in is actually going to change anything. Well, maybe it would. Well, I'm going to hang on to it. Apparently, the latch was actually gone, but I'm pretty sure it was there. Like, I distinctly remember seeing it. Oh, it is gone. All right, cool. Can I rotate this? No. I can. Wait, that was weird. All right, so I have to go to... Oh, how do you... What the fuck? So I want to punch in 1795. How the hell do you operate this sort of thing anyways? <laughs> oh, God. What the? I almost want to look this up. How to actually operate this whole technology. Oh my god. So let's say this is a one. Let's pretend, right? Then maybe like seven. And then nine. And then five. If it's not that, I'm going to look this up. Other way, maybe. One. Seven. Nine. Five. How about this? One. Seven. Oh, there we go. Nine. Five. We've done it. There was only so many ways you could use it. We'd be bound to find it eventually. Oh, is that it? You don't uh, actually do anything. I also wonder what's on that record. But yeah, the light's on. I could see if there's like another light on elsewhere. Or like... I was trying to like see if I could interact with the bells, but alas. I saw this note. I was never able to zoom in on it. Now it lets me click on it. Oh, because I, well, because I zoomed in, then clicked. I never did both. Anyways, August 7th, my face rests in a terrible paradox. I have need to trap a soul of great brilliance, but for them to exhibit the brilliance I seek, they must surely also see the trap? The outcome is balanced on a razor's edge. They yearn for the source of the null just as I have. I can feel their longing and must also blind them to their fate. Uh, but anyways, the light on the, the phone thing went on. I guess I could check out some of the different um, machineries around the area. Like, see if any other lights went on. Well, like the um, thing that 1795 was on, for example. I can't remember the names of this stuff. Maybe how it works is me putting the uh, thing into the phonograph, turned it on, or removed the latch. So I could input 1795, and then 1795 powers this again, so then the stuff gets printed. I guess that's the idea. So then this will come back. 
No. Really? Are you serious? What the fuck is that? Do you think if I do the token twice for the same, having the same amount of endings, anything different would happen? 1795 called, they want their phones back. They want their wax object back. Let's give it a shot. It got reset, so I expect the exact same thing to happen. But who knows, maybe it'll be, be different. Like, I got two tokens there for a reason. Like, I definitely... Oh, it is different. Escape. Escape. Not gonna lie. Nah, how I would've done it. We got a crank handle. Circular end. Um, I mean, we could do that crank on the upstairs area, but I don't think it was a circle, was it? No, it's a, wait, this is a hexagon. I don't think it matters. Let me see what has a hexagon imprint. Do I remember a hexagon? I was hoping it could be like this thing so I could use it, but alas. Maybe I have to do the uh, other thing again. I'm going to go back to uh, the room that I was just in before this one. What do you guys call this room? Does this, does this one have a name? I have no idea how to describe what the hell is going on in this area. Garden? Greenhouse? I don't see much glass. Is this a hexagon? No, but... But... Ambiance! What if we're supposed to do 1795 now? Wait, hold on. Seven. Or, sorry, one. Seven. Nine. Five. Because now, now 1795 is always hearing the music, which is going to be engraved onto my thing. Oh, that's cute. So now, is I actually going to engrave it? That's cool. I do like how they tie that together. That's a very good puzzle. Yeah! And now we know where this goes. That is for sure. It is, but if you don't know how the tech works, it could be killer. Well, I mean, honestly, <laughs> are, you're not supposed to know how any of this works. Very few people know how even a rotary phone works. Myself included. But I guess I know now. Is that actually how rotary phones work in real life? I mean, I would assume so. This game seems to be accurate for most things. Yeah, this, this actually might have been my single favorite puzzle in the game. To be fair, though, I mean, it played out kind of like normal. Like, solving it wasn't anything necessarily special, but the way everything tied together was super cool. Not what I meant to do.
Can I just drag this here? Sure. Oh, they're masking the nice sounding music with spooky stuff. Lovely. Another coin and another note. A breakthrough. The portal remains stable, but only to look through. Touching the thing causes the image to fade. I need more power if I am to pass physically to the other side. The landscape is beyond extraordinary. Well, we know what we're doing with that. And actually, we're almost out of objects. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're pretty close to the end. Well, but we still have a lot to do, so I wouldn't get too uh, ahead of myself. Oh, I dragged this out. What am I doing? <laughs> Like, here's what I'm almost wondering. The fact that these four cards seem to match up with uh, the cards of the endings. Like, I'm wondering if the fact that I'm on the third card now means that I've reached the third ending. So, release. So, if I was to go through the portal, maybe it would show up with three of the endings being done. As a thought. I mean, I could be totally wrong. A metal device. Let me look at this. Oh, yep, this definitely goes in the uh, upstairs area. I could be totally wrong. Like, I'm just spitballing. I don't want to know if I'm right or wrong. Like, like let me talk, you know, without ruining the game for me or anything. But I'm just coming up with ideas, and I'll see if I'm proven right with time. But yeah, I, I know this goes up here. And then maybe I can finally open the talisman safe. Oh, geez. Okay. So another perspective puzzle. Can I move? I can move this around a little. So let's keep moving this over. How about that? No? How about that? A key! An actual key. Let me look at this, huh? A long key. Actually, this looks like it goes into the tree. Classic credit card. Let's unlock some trees. Oh, the music isn't playing anymore. We're back to just pitiful silence. Besides my endgame stuff, what is my favorite level in the room series? I don't know. I guess I hadn't thought about it. I'd have to rewatch the footage to see. <laughs> I mean, I actually like it when the puzzles that we have to do are actually puzzles and not just click on things. Like, even the math puzzles, if you can call them that, I thought were nice and interactive. I've turned the key, but nothing's unlocked. Let me line this up like such and then see what happened on the inside of the tree. Or actually, I could also try the door. Two things I want to try. Not the drawer, door, the drawer. Let me first try the drawer and then let me see what's changed on the inside of the tree. I just feel like having turned the key has done something. Credit card denied. I'll just give it time. You know, they're extra secure. They like to take the time with their verifications. Listen, baby, I'm not broke. I swear the credit card works. I think something happened inside the tree. Let's see, though. Right. Uh, yeah, something did happen.
Look <laughs> at you pushed that out of the way. Lovely. Wait, so all I've done is reset it. Or maybe I opened the drawer. Alright, whatever. I'll back out and see what happened on the other side. Hmm, I thought for sure this would be open. Alright, let's turn the key some more. Or even the other way. Jordan to open. Making it back to here. Nothing happened? Yeah, I can't interact with anything here anymore. Literally nothing will go. Like anything I click on just doesn't happen. How does this exactly impact what's on the inside of the tree? I gotta figure out the correlation. Or if, like, it's a one-time impacting, and then nothing happening next. No, okay, so, now it's turned again. <sighs> Do I have a goal? Can I just take this? I can rotate it two ways. So now it's rotated this way. So now we've done it both ways. So that means, hold on, let me, actually, I didn't want to back out just yet, I wanted to check one thing. I want to see if I can manipulate anything else in here. No, I'm going to actually back out for real now. Like, that must mean it's open. Like, I've done it both ways now. Maybe they're like, supposed to be like pins or whatever, holding the thing in place. Please. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's open. And another token is found. Let's go. It's crazy that even though I'm floating, I can only float at a certain speed. Where's my fast travel at? Here we go. So, fourth item is time to get. What even do I have to unlock? I still have to unlock the safe or get in the safe. I still have to uh, work with the weird machine with the purple crystal on it. Um, I still have to... That might be it. I still have to use the screwdriver for something. Lost. Season 1. One of the greatest episodes of television. Alright, a bigger puzzle's been unlocked. What? How do I interact with this? I get an artifact. No! <laughs> uh, we killed Maggie! What? Well, let me put this back. Oh, no, that's just powered Maggie. That's it. Gave Maggie life. Well, let me look at this artifact thing, huh? It's hexagonal. Shines a light. And I can't just put it back? Oh, I miss Maggie. Rip. I just want to make sure there's nothing else here I'm missing. I think it's a reasonable thing. Because this thing is so convoluted. Yeah, sure. All right. Um, so actually, this doesn't, at least, 
they could help with the safe. It kind of resembles it in a way, but I kind of want to take it back to the um, plant room. Sinclair's soul. Thank you for the prime. I want to take it back to plant room to see if it does anything with the uh, crystal there. Or maybe actually here, right? Because this is a hexagon. In, no, it's a pentagon in the middle. So this isn't going to do anything. Yeah, I, well, we can see if something's in there. I think I'm completely done with the uh, the study and the initial area. The math room. At least I'm fairly certain. But it's this room and the upstairs that I have things left to do in. I don't know how this would exactly help this, though. I feel like I was onto something when I said that... This kind of looks like the safe. I should probably use it on the safe. I don't know. I guess I was hopeful. What about this thing? This is a hexagon, isn't it? Doesn't matter. It doesn't have match the pattern. So I think it's only for the cube and I'm probably done with it. Alright, let's head upstairs. If not, maybe I could try this study again. Like... Maybe there's still something I've missed, but if I'm pretty sure there wasn't any like more pop-ups or anything. Like no more, hey, there's something that could go here. Or this looks like it needs a little something something, a little bit of elbow grease. I don't remember any of that in the study. But again, this looks like the safe. I don't remember there being any hexagons related to the safe. And the only way I feel like this could help with the safe is if I just, you know, smash it into the safe. Smash. Maybe this is natural red herring, you know? There's also the other side of this room. I mean, there was this, but I mean, there's no way this relates somehow. Maybe there was something on here I didn't interact with yet. Like this is supposed to open eventually. Can I like use the screwdriver on it? No, I forget you can't use objects on other objects. Maybe I have to use this as a crowbar? This tiny chode screwdriver? Nah, I mean, this thing looks pretty sturdy. There's no amount of bashing, slashing, hacking, or anything that will open it. Well, it did, had nothing to do with the safe, unless maybe there's something like on top of the safe. Side of the safe. Whoops. Under the safe. I, I guess I searched the study now. Oh, and then after the study, I try the the math room. Maybe there's something I missed there. Oh, I don't... <laughs> there could also be upstairs here. I don't think so, though. Well, maybe. This is a hexagon, right? No, wait, this is an octagon. On the bottom, it's a hexagon, though. And that's a hexagon, but it's not really a hexagon. It's actually a square. The actual hole is a square. Wait! I hear the clock. Was that making noise last time I came through? Alright, you won't believe it, but it's actually midnight. 
<laughs> my time. That is not the game. Okay. So we need to find a code of sorts. Three number code. Let's uh, use this, huh? 412. It's the crystal from the, uh, from the place. Yeah, the crystal from the, uh, the place. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Still can't open this. It's only doable at midnight. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm just making sure I can't mess with this. Let's also look at the crystal. It's got a hexagon imprint. Let's go to the place. I'm not going to do voice acting for anything. Hell no. Um, Alright. Oh, yeah. So this goes into the hole. I didn't even notice the hexagon hole until now. We need a third one. We need a third crystal. Come on. So I need to do something with this. Maybe I should go back to the study. What about the side of this crate like, this looks like it can relate to a crystal somehow but I don't see it or I don't see exactly what well three crystals even do I assume that'll let this thing start turning Uh, yeah, th maybe there's something else in the study. I mean, I missed the clock. What else did I miss? Ugh. And then the math room? And what else could it be, though? I mean, there wasn't much else to zoom in on. The clock is basically finished. Just check and see. Like, maybe there's some screwdriver thing I can do with the clock. Like, down here. To open this. Alas. Um... We've messed with all this already. What are these books, maybe? The panel was used for a sliding switch. Oh, I did use that. Thank you. That's right. I guess we do the math room. We, we, or at least that area. Maybe, <laughs> maybe there's something here still. Got the letter from here. Did riddles with that. This doesn't move anymore. Nothing else. Can't. I've already read this. Math room. It's weird that only one of these lit up. It said library. Can't interact with this. I still haven't done the safe. And I've done this already. There's nothing here now. Yeah, this room's dead. So what, the safe? Maybe there's something else I've missed. I could check the library once more. I mean, while I've searched the other is... Maybe I haven't swept the library that well. Because, come to think of it, I knew of things to do in the library, so I didn't really do a thorough sweep of it. And this is close to the safe anyways. Why did I go in the study again?
Library, library, library. Like over here, you know, like this bookshelf. No? This thing? Alas? Lamp? Lamp? Pictures? I mean, it hasn't, there hasn't been like picture thing, but we have this ladder here to lead me up to there, but we can't climb it. Illumination. We use those already. They're pretty much done for. Unless. I mean, it wouldn't make sense. Engrave music on the octagon. Chug water. Let's try the uh, theater area. Maybe there was, you know, the theater opened back up. Doesn't it mean I get the uh, thing I put in back? The ball? No, I don't get the ball back? What a scam! What if I put in this hexagon slash octagon thing? No ball. Nothing. Yeah, I'll dare it. It's right there. Chair. Table, I already read that note. Picture. Huh. And down we go again. Um. I haven't tried the bookshelves to my right. Like these are a little different. Like maybe one of these books opens a secret door. They're all set up pretty naturally though. That one's kind of cut out. Um, but we can't really pull it. We still also haven't used the screwdriver. I was thinking like screwdriver could eventually be useful on one of these, but. I don't want to go back up yet. Because I, I was just there on this very clue without making no progress. Or without making any progress, you know what I mean. I was hoping, like, there would be something else in the clock besides the extra crystal, but that doesn't make any sense. Okay, interact with this at all? No, there's nothing else to take from this. Damn, dude. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm going upstairs then. Back to the safe. Again, the only thing we haven't done yet. If I can't find anything near the safe, then I guess I'll have to... Well, we'll see. We will see. But yeah, I did a full sweep of everything. Every area. Everything. There was nothing I could use this thing for or the chode for. And I was here before to mess with those again. Like, this didn't do anything for the safe. Looks like it's been here for decades. Okay, I tried putting it here. Dragging it all parts of the safe. Doesn't light up. Is this done done? Oh, interesting.
Interesting that you can look down. Doesn't really matter though. Can I move it at all? I actually can move it still. Interesting that I can move it still. Let's go all the way to the other end. Yeah, don't you think it's strange I can still interact with this? Usually the game says no. What is that thing in the middle? Well, that's the table, isn't it? So, like, what I'm looking down at is the main hub area, and in the middle is the, uh, the special table. I think it's looking at that room, at least. What if I can, like, manipulate anything in that room? And then look down. As an idea. Because, yeah, we can still work with that. Maybe there's something on the table? Unfortunately, you can't look up. There's a limit to how far you can scroll. Actually, hold on. Let me back out a little. Maybe it's not the room I'm looking at. No. I mean, this room is like, when you look through there, you don't really see the room as it is now. You see, like, the unedited room. Do you? Well, you see this part, this part, and this part. So I guess the room looks normal from that angle. Let's see, though. Do we put this back in? Do we put this in? Even though it looks sim similar, just doesn't have the right shape. Because, yeah, I look down at this room. Maybe, like, one of these is a secret. I can interact with the side. Maybe the tentacles are supposed to help me. Maybe there's like... You know, something up here I can interact with, but I can't reach that, so it doesn't really matter. Finally catching a stream after weeks instead of being working late or passed out. Ah, shit. Hope you're doing well, Tyler. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing well. Glad you can make it. Thank you for the eight months. I don't know what this machine is supposed to be except summoning the void. Ah, yeah, I can't. I can't do anything in this room. Damn. I haven't found a single spot for this. I could check out the, um... Garden. One more time. Plant room. I mean, after this, I'm actually fully out of ideas. Because I was hoping, like, I could maybe put this on here. And use this to help me out. Because this changed the shapes, but... It doesn't matter. It's weird that I could still zoom into it. Usually it locks me out of that sort of thing. I've tried the null room and I've tried the item changer. Neither actually do anything. Motherfucker. Flan flip. Thank you for the two months. I can't pull the crank, it won't move. Lens, I haven't done lens in a hot minute. But usually, like, objects will have a certain kind of glow or aura to them that tells you whether or not you need to use the lens. This light isn't pointing to anything. This is a set of three keys. So, like, each of these is a key, and then the third one goes in here. And once it's in... 
I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to work with these again. Yeah, I did the insides of a signal receiver. That was part for, of beating the main game. There's an octagon base in the clock? No way. Not a chance. This is a hexagon, and that's where I got the crystal from. Hey, is there anything else that I could interact with at all? But the thing on the other side of the safe, on the far side of the room, I haven't, I guess I haven't been there in a hot minute. I doubt it because it was only stuff that I could look at. Like there were no moving parts or anything I could interact with. Well, listen, I'm down to try. I'm totally down to try, but it's super strange. Maybe I missed something inside Maggie. True, that's another thing that I haven't... I feel like I didn't feel satisfied with my looking at. Yeah, we, we could look at Maggie again. Like, we can zoom in on this, but we can't actually do anything. Is this supposed to be that? And I can't manipulate this, right? Looks like it moves. Oh, uh, it moves like a couple pixels, yeah. Oh, and that moves this! Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wait. So, I want to hit the safe. I want to hit the safe. How do I get this to stop moving? Give it a lot of momentum. Just, just hit the safe. Ho, ho, ho. What? <laughs> <laughs> Downstairs we go. <laughs> wow, okay. Damn, that took forever. <laughs> yeah, that is one of the most subtle things I think this game has done. It was really cool, like how cool it was made up for the subtlety. <laughs> the most destructive action we've done yet. As far as actual puzzle, go, puzzle solving go, it went. It kind of sucked, but I mean, that was brutal. <laughs> that was fun to watch. Oh, look at that. What's on the inside? Is that a crystal? It's a crystal and a note. Let's go. I woke up on the floor of the workshop again. A new box was on the table, and I recall nothing of making it. Did I create any of them or just dream these creations? What is beyond doubt is that there is something guiding my hand. Who pulls the strings of the puppet master? All right. Well, we found the final crystal. We know where that goes. More progress. And it rotates. Oh, I haven't actually done this yet. Oh, more mazes. Hold on, is there like a, a map of this maze somewhere? 
wasn't in this room is not in this room. Well, let's just go through the maze. I think I like this more. Let's examine my area. This is a compass? Sure. So I can keep track. How about I start by going forward? What's this? As a pillar? Maquette's coming out this year? Somehow I doubt that. I've seen the trailer for Maquette. It looks interesting, but it looks super laggy. Like super, super laggy. So I don't know if I can trust that game actually ending up, you know, playing well. But it does look interesting, I will say. Any game about recursion is on my list. Alright, so that was the area to the left of spawn. Let's check out this area first. Oh, there's a big light that way. I assume we want to follow that. Big light. Oh, wait, this points towards it. That's not a compass. It tells me which way to go. A mysterious artifact. So this is a lot like the thing we just grabbed. It's actually so much like the thing we just grabbed. I wonder if I'm supposed to take these into the spooky room. The tentacles room. Because yeah, this is the thing we just extracted from Maggie. Because I'm pretty sure I've just done everything. Period. Yeah, we have two things. Like, here's how I see it, right? These are probably able to maybe either redirect the lasers or mess with the lasers. And inside the tentacles room was a bunch of laser puzzles. So I feel like we bring these in, we find alternate solutions, and then we get different endings. But wouldn't there be a third one? But before I do that, I have another idea. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I guess it doesn't have a hexagon base. So that won't work. Maybe to give, like, Maggie a new personality or something. Alas. Can I use, like, screwdriver on parts of Maggie? No, that's, um... I think that's, uh... Requires a hex -a wrench. All these require hex wrenches. Which means I can't work with them. Where'd the coins go? Oh yeah! Maggie swallowed my coins and didn't give them back. Rude. <sighs> well, I guess I'd go with my plan, since this doesn't go in Maggie. I'm just trying to make sure. Yeah, I, I've gone through everything. I don't think there's a single other thing I can interact with. <sighs> Except something to do with the screwdriver. <laughs> Which, I, you know, the hardest thing is finding a screws. But I don't want to hop in the tentacles thing in case I, like, am not ready to do it. Like, I would hate to do all that, then be like, oh, yeah, you made no real progress. What do you mean? If I'm not ready, I can come back from my current progress? What does that mean?
whatever. I'm going to do it. I have absolutely nothing else to do. I feel like there is only one thing to do. I technically haven't uh, checked this the entirety of the safe. Maybe I could just like be 200% sure. But I mean, there's not much to check. No, screwdriver holes. Just, the safe is a lot bigger than what we're seeing, you know? There's no fake door or something. Well. Let's go. Into the tentacles. To the top of the tower. See if these new items we got changes how we solve this puzzle. I mean, it must. Oh, we have to do this again? How did this work again? I had to, like, spin it, right? No, I had to put in the null element first. So up here. Alright, then look for the bases of these. Hexagon and square with a corner cut. Um, but maybe even before that, I need to turn on these lasers. Was it here? Wasn't it? No, I needed to find the thing to be able to turn that. So I needed to turn this. And how did I... Let's see if I can figure out how I did that exactly. Okay, because I need to get in... Well, not in there. That's a mirror. For above here. <laughs> uh, I don't remember how I did this. I'll figure it out again. Don't worry. Just going to take a little bit of a... Uh... Was it this thing? That is the metal ring. I see now. Bima. Yeah, so I did this already. Is it going to be the same every time? Because, yeah, I did all this. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Yeah, it seems like if I want to get different endings, I got to keep doing the same thing. Which kind of stinks, but it is what it is. There will be a minor change, though. I have different parts now. So I'm hoping that means I can create different beams. I just have to not accidentally go in there before I'm ready. Uh, so I moved that. I still haven't found any spots for either of these to go in, actually. Let me look at this again. Just square base with the corner cut off. Can I take this out? Maybe that's what I was supposed to do? No, this is a specifically a pentagon hole. So putting the other ones in here doesn't make any sense. You don't put a hexagon into a pentagon hole. Is there anything else to do? I forget how this works. The beam's going here right now. I can't actually access that point. Can I put something on here? Well, the mirror, yeah. And then move this? Is this how this worked? The, we got the hints back. Okay. Then we went inside the null element. Yeah, we still have the screwdriver. That's right. And then we did this puzzle. We had to 
have every single one of the uh every single one of the beams hit the crystal like that Hey, look at that. That I know where that what goes in there. I'm not going in there yet. Well, well, I have a choice. Okay, I do have a choice. Hey, I got two objects. Let me uh put them in. Not you. But you. Get in. Oh, very nice. And also, let me get the uh, hexagon one as well. Just get them both set up. Also, this is the one I got first, so maybe I'll go in here first. <laughs> All right, I rotate this looks like I want to get a lot of lights on the beam Or just keep that light on the beam for a certain amount of time Nice Bye a different door Wait, wait, so is this going to summon an even different door? Oh, I see. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, wow, that's, uh... This one seems a lot tougher than the other one, for sure. Alright, hold on. So let me do something like this. And then get them all. There we go. Just had to do them in sections of the two, basically. That was actually a cool puzzle. So wait, is this going to summon then a totally different door? Nope. Uh, the door is the same, I guess, it, but there's more tentacles. Well, it's time. The tentaclist of the doors. Oh, we didn't use the screwdriver. <laughs> uh. All right, we're on a ship. So this was the escape ending, right? We actually saw all four of them on the cards. Well, maybe not. Oh, maybe we do escape. Uh, got him. Excuse me.
I don't know if this letter will reach you. I only know the warder will take my bribe. You must come at once. When we opened the gateway, something was waiting. It had always been waiting. Now it is here. Soon we are doomed. I know you must have no reason. You know, I have no reason to trust me, but you must. You are the only one who can help. You are the only one who knows. You are the only one who will believe me. I am in Bethlehem. Find me. We found the release. Okay. So change my fate now? I feel like I'm just supposed to do something different in the boss room. Like only activate one of the beams? It's gonna be a little tedious. So I'll only do the hexagon and not the other one. Cause I feel like cause there's four endings, it's we do neither, we do one, we do the other, and then we do both for all four. That's how I see it anyways. Remember the screwdriver. I don't know about that. I think the screwdriver is just along for the ride. But, I mean, we know how to do it. It's just, you know, slow. Actually, do we know how to do it? I'm trying to remember how I found the... God damn it. <laughs> how did I find the thing to turn this? That's the only thing I don't remember. Damn it, damn it, damn it. It was a thing on the side, yes. Oh yeah, like this one takes a while, doesn't it? Whoops, wrong thing. I think it's actually faster if I go the other way. Oh well. Anyone who d defies the screwdriver should be cursed with a decade of bad luck. True, maybe the screwdriver is how we win all along. It's our deadliest weapon. Never understood why the plus head screwdrivers exist when the minus head work for both. Maybe they're just better at leverage in sometimes. I, I don't know either. Stability or something. I mean, yeah, it probably is just better at leverage, right? That's the only thing I can imagine. All right, we still need to do this. I know how to do this puzzle. Wait, no. There we go. All right, so now I'm only going to do the hex face, not even touch the other one. Because I imagine hex space is second ending. And what whatever we did was the third ending. Alright, so no train, that's for sure. Well, so here's the issue though. If what I did just get was the third ending, then I wouldn't consider both of the beams or whatever to be on. In fact, oh my god, 
how do I rotate this again? What I would consider to have happened was that was that only the uh, the square one was on. Like only the other one was on. So there's no way to have both be on. Hmm. Which changes a lot. Maybe there is a screwdriver ending. Right, so this has way fewer tentacles, which means this is different. Wait, the door is already open, though. Yeah, I, I assume I'm going to make the assumption that this is a different ending than what I just did. I swear, if I'm in a boathouse again, I'm going to be upset. God damn it. Maybe it's a different ending slightly. Oh, it is. Oh, okay, no, different ending. Cool. It's daytime. But the castle's still getting destroyed, isn't it? <laughs> well, but we're farther away. Damn, this game's less spooky now. Let's go. I must have poured over a thousand maps. Gray Holm isn't just gone, it never existed. I sometimes doubt my sanity, and others are starting to agree with me. This quest can only land me in an asylum. No matter, I find curiosity has lessened its grip on me, and life's other interests are returning. Whatever it was that drew me is gone. I can sense it lo no longer, and I finally feel free. Was there ever a source of the null, or was it always just bait in the trap? I now, uh, or I now know, or I know now that I... We'll never know. And that knowledge is a sweet, sweet joy. Right, ending two, escape. And then the final one is a trap. Huh? So either I need a third object. Or I need to somehow use the screwdriver. <laughs> you don't think the screwdriver could be useful in here, do you? Let's find out. The only other thing is maybe I just don't even touch the hexagon laser and I use the other laser. I could try that, see what happens. Because maybe... <sighs> Man, it makes a bit less sense. I mean, I'm, willing to, I'm willing to try it. But if anyone sees these screwdriver holes, please give me a shout. Those are the hardest freaking things to find. And I feel like I'll fare a lot better with 480 eyes looking for screwdriver's holes uh, than I will just my own. <laughs> so let me know. Here we are again. Ba, 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 da, 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 twist in the holes. Gonna go counterclockwise this time because it's faster. Speed run strats. Get in here and record time, baby. Here we go again. I do be moving. Slide it. Turn the table. The thing looks cool. Get the mirror. My mirror. Put the mirror on. Move the other mirror. 
Solve the null element. All right. I use this, rotate this once, and then rotate these twice. Fastest way to do it. Titan Jaeger. Thank you for the gifted sub. Appreciate it. Alright, so what I wanted to try first was only the rightmost one. Because I've done only the left. Both of them. But not only the right. So I'm going to try it. This puzzle is fun. Let's see if I can do it again. Whoops. Alright, so. Alright, this, these tore together. Oh, hold on, I should bring this back. These two are together now. Um. That's not right. So these two are together, these two are together, and these two are together. Hmm. Um... No, I have this backwards. Hold on, so I need to go like this way. And then go, uh, I need to rotate clockwise, so I rotate like that. And these need to rotate. Then this rotates. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I almost overthought it for a second. Alright, so just this door. If it's like a regular door with a lot of tentacles, I'll know that it's not worth changing. And it is. Okay. So that's the third ending. So, I guess there's only one thing left to do. The screwdriver. I wonder if maybe if I have both in, you know, both of them active, if there's any screwdriver holes I can then do. You know? Like once they're both up and both running, maybe some holes will appear. Wait a second, I can go to here? Like this thing? I can look around this room quite a bit. At least that's. What's this? Here. Now, is this how I got here? No, it's just something I can't use. What about on the big tower? I probably should go with my gut, try to activate both, and then use the screwdriver. I'm not going to take that hint just yet. I'm going to see, I'm going to try some ideas. I can't manipulate this. I could do this. Right. All right. 
I can't jam it with a screwdriver, right? No. Let's, uh, let's go in. Activate them both. Or at least, you know, um, go through the process to being able to activate them both. Did I, where do I click to turn this? Is here? Okay. All right. So if I press this, does the other beam turn off? Looks like it does. That even retracts tentacles. Oh, funny. All right, interesting. Sure. So only one of these can be on at a time. I know that for sure. And all that we have on us is the screwdriver. Is there, oh boy, time to find some screwdriver holes, huh? Oh my god. Is there anything I can go up on? Anything at all? Maybe this thing. Can barely move here. Just throw it in. How about the door? Just remove the door. I, if I double click, I'll go in. So that's definitely not it. All right. It's not the door, otherwise the screwdriver would uh, not be transparent here. All right, let's not accidentally go in. Don't want to waste my time. Can I use it on this mechanism at all? Whatsoever. Because this is where everything started. No? How about down here? What about in this moving part? Can I j just throw the screwdriver in trying to jam the thing? Get to, you know, stop turning. No? What about where I got this from? What about... I can't move this anymore. Does anything even move? Damn, I can hardly interact with anything, actually. No, this is... The beam tower. I've added more tentacles. This is a circle, not a. We're looking for a flat head. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, where's the hole? <laughs> no, Spooko, take off emo only. Uh, people said they saw a hole. Otherwise, I'm going to do it. The side of this tower? Is the other tower... cover of the projector the hole moved once I mo moved the button thank you well, I don't see it here either is it only on the other one Oh, holy shit. Yeah, I never would have saw this. Both can be on. Oh my god, there actually is a screwdriver ending. Are you kidding me? Well. <laughs> I 
The time for the screwdriver is over. Oh, jeez. It's Mars. It's the things we saw on the telescope. The pyramids or something. Is that it? Oh. Well, there we go. We got lost. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the room three. That's the game. 100% complete. Leading into the next game in the series, which is apparently Old Sins, which people say is possibly even better than the third game. Should be interesting. Yeah, this is a good time. Glad I beat this game. Uh, stuff I want to do in the future. I think, well, obviously balloons, but in addition to balloons, I want my side game to be Cluster Truck. So I want to finally uh, re-beat Cluster Truck, or at least beat it on stream. Have some fun with that. Maybe play some custom maps, or some of the maps that have been added since I played it last. Doing a truck parkour, I think, will be fun in the future. Done with that for today, though, and it seems like a good end to the stream. So thank you all for coming out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you have a wonderful night, and I should be streaming tomorrow, so I hope to see you guys there at the stream. Love you all a long time, and peace!